Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael Alex back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an automated email when a flow action fails. So if you aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I make Power Apps, Power Automate, uh, SharePoint Teams videos. A flow action failed automate email. This is helpful because it's nice to know when your flows fail. Uh, you can have like some business processes that you have going and you won't even know your flow failed until you get the automated email from Microsoft like 12 hours later. So to set this up, I'm going to go ahead and create a new flow. So this doesn't, I'm just creating a test case. Um, you'll want to use this with one of your flows already. So I'm just going to do when a new item is created. So for my flow name, flow failed. And I just want to do when an item is created. So I'm going to be working with my marketing grocery list SharePoint list. So we will use that. So site address when a new item is created, marketing. Let's get the list name, grocery list. So I want to make a flow that fails for my test case. So when a new item is created, we, let's update that item. So marketing, the list, grocery list, and ID. I'm going to get the ID from the first step. And with this date field right here, I'm going to toss in an expression that's going to fail. Add one, two. So I toss this expression in there. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to fail because it's going to give us three and three is not a valid format for a date field. So let me just run this real quick. I'll have to, these are required. So I'm just going to copy them from the first one. All right, save. So let me just run this, make sure it fails. So I'm going to add a new item. We'll do tacos, date purchased. All right, let me, let me save that. So it will save and let's go to the flow when it decides to run. All right, so I just refreshed it and we get a failed flow attempt. So as you can see, we'll just take a look, update item. Yeah, so it's not a valid format. Date purchase three, it's not a valid date format, so it's gonna fail. And let me just check, what, so it didn't have an update on the sun. All right, so if that fails, I want to add another step. So we'll just do email, send an email v2 office outlook. And let me send it to myself, Michael, uh, flow failed. Uh, I named it flow failed too. So oh, please check on flow. And then for the error message, we'll say hi. A flow has failed, please check. It out. And I'll just toss the flow name in there. Shouldn't it? Probably name it something else. And let me just timestamp this. So expression, a UTC now. That will actually toss in the time. I just want that to include that data because sometimes if you have like a ton of flows going, you want to document when that flow actually failed. So I can go back in here and look at the times. So. We want to, we won't only want this email to send after this action has failed. So right now it's going to send every time. Um, actually, it's not even going to send because it's going to fail before it even reaches that step. So I want to click on the triple dot and I want to configure the run after. So right now it's going to run after this is successful. So right now it's not successful. So this will never get ran the email, but if it's failed, then it's going to run after the update item action fails. And only if it runs, you can click on multiple of these. So if I want that, you can do that. I only want it when it fails. And as you can see, it changes to a red dotted line. So that's only gonna activate when it fails. So let's go to new. Let's go ahead and create another item, which is gonna trigger our flow. We'll go with cereal, even though I don't eat cereal. <laughs> Date purchase. Uh, 86 we'll go with Sierra's kind of expensive we'll go with 399 quantity we'll get four boxes press save so our flow is still going to fail so we will wait for that all right so I just refreshed the page on my flow failed flow as you can see the status of successful and this is because the flow did actually run successfully I was expecting it to fail right here and it went through all the steps because we have our flow running if on air if this is failed 
go to the next step and that's successful so the whole thing's successful but if we go to my email you can see hey if flow has failed please check out flow failed and it has a timestamp you can you can format that timestamp i just tossed in the utc now but eight two and a bunch of these numbers so as you can see we got the email and you can send that to like a group that works on the flow so they can be like hey one of our flows failed let's go check it out and they can go back and look at the timestamp because uh it will power automate logs the time go check it out and say oh yeah this update i don't fail because we have oh we screwed up the the format and the date field so that is how you send an error message an automated error message and power automate when a flow action is filled so if you enjoyed the video feel free to like comment subscribe if you want to see more feel free to leave a comment on video ideas and i'll catch you in the next one